I'm sorry. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hi, can you hear me? Good evening, Oscar. <laughs> Hello, Miguel. Hello, Dubia and Jairo and Blanca. Well, it's good to see you. Well, I don't see, I just see your, your names. <laughs> but welcome to the class. Today we have the class number 13. And, oh, Oscar, you say, God bless you. Okay, you said, God bless you. Yeah. Okay, good, guys. I hope more students connect in the next minute. But I'm going to share the screen. You will see the presentation. As I told you, we are in section five, going places, class number 13. Today is Tuesday, June 13. And well, we'll continue with models for necessity and suggestions. We have, we have that, recalling previous knowledge. In the activity two, we have childhood memories presentations, the assignment as I asked yesterday to prepare a, a, a talk about your childhood memories, and then we have the wrap up. So we're going to start with the review of models for necessity and suggestions. Okay, for these guys, we have here a conversation. And you have to use the correct model. Do you remember the models? that we studied yesterday? Do you remember? What are the models for necessity? Have. For necessity, do you remember? Must. Okay, must have to and the word the verb for necessity. Do you remember? Need, Need to, yes. Need. And for suggestions. The models were had better. Okay, had better. Of to of to should should. Okay, very nice. Should. Now let's read and let's see what is the correct model for to complete the conversation. Letter A, we make our plane reservations right away. It will be hard to find cheap flights later this month. Should or don't have to. <coughs> what do you think is the correct should or don't have to? Should. 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 Okay. We should make our plane reservations right away. Good idea, and perhaps we buy round trip tickets because they are usually cheaper. Have to or off to? Off to? Off to, yes, because it's using perhaps. Do you know the meaning of perhaps? Or a synonym of perhaps? Maybe. Maybe, exactly. Very good, David. Hi, good evening. I have a problem with my internet. Okay, Adriana. Me too. In the in the previous class, I have to move and have to change computer. <laughs> okay. 
And, and remember, you are going to drive the rental car, so you need to, or better, bring your driver's license. You need to. Need to. You need to, exactly, it's necessary. You need to. You need to bring your driver's license. Of course, and you must not or shouldn't forget to pack your new digital camera. It will be fun learning how to use it. You shouldn't. Shouldn't? Should. Okay. You sh it's a suggestion, right? An advice. You shouldn't forget to pack your new digital camera. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, participation. Now guys, I have here some vocabulary for children games. Do you remember uh, the games that you used to play when you were little? In my case, I used to play a lot hide and seek. <laughs> That was but, my favorite game. Yes, I had many friends and we just played that game. It was very funny. It was fun. Okay. Uh, what other games did you used to play? Ruth? Marbles. 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 Uh -huh. Baseball. Um, basketball sometimes. Uh, but I like to... to to is to to run to run and I in the bike the bicycle to ride a bicycle. Ride bicycle very good okay another participation what games do you used to play as a child margarita i used to play um, marbles and jackstones and basketball. Chinese, Chinese whispers. Chinese whispers. Okay, <laughs> very good. So, in I have prepared these pictures, and you are going to help me to choose what is the correct um, what is the correct option. Okay. According to the picture, the picture represents a one game, one of those games, okay? For example, this one we have, what is the best option? Marbles, dodgeball, hoop rolling, or hopscotch? What do you think is this game? Is the hopscotch? Yes, it's the hopscotch. Uh, number two, we have Chinese whispers, took a war, high and seek, or paddle ball. High and seek. High and seek. Yes, and that was my favorite game when I was little. High and seek. Number three, baseball, jackstones, football, or leapfrog? Leapfrog. Leapfrog, leapfrog yes. And number four, blind men's bath, tag, jumping rope, or basketball? When they touch you. Uh, you have to run when they jump. Tag. In Spanish is? Mica. Mica, yes. <laughs> so now you know in English, Mica is? Tag. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the next slide, you will see more. Number six. Football, leapfrog, paddle ball, or jackstones? 
Football. Football. Okay. Football. And number six, jumping rope, Jackson's hoop rolling or tag. Jumping rope. Jumping rope. Number seven, hopscotch, hopscotch, marbles, basketball, to go war. Marbles. 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 <laughs> marbles. High and seek, blind men's buff. Chinese whispers or baseball? Chinese like, whispers. Yeah, Chinese. in Spanish it has a different name, right? Como el teléfono descompuesto. El teléfono ah, descompuesto. Similar to the to broken telephone. You are remembering your, your childhood. <laughs> And the next picture, we have more games, a lot of games. Uh -huh. Okay, number nine, Jackson's baseball, high and seek or jumping rope? Baseball. 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 Okay, number 10. Basketball. 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 Seven. Basketball. 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 Parable. Well, in El Salvador we have other other games like Jojo or Capirucho. Trompo. <laughs> okay, and number 12. Hoop rolling. Hoop rolling. The hoop rolling. And 13. Jack Stone. Jack Stones. Next time. Uh, 14. Lehman Book. Blind Man's Book. But in Spanish, it's, it has a funny name. Gallina Ciega? Yes, that is the name in Spanish. But in, in English, it's Blind Man's Buff. Blind Man's Buff. Right? Uh, 15. Okay, Dutch ball. Okay, Dutch ball. It's a ball. This is a word. The tool of war. The tool of war. Of war. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. So those are the games. The vocabulary for the game. Mm -hmm. Now I have some questions. Tell me about your childhood. What sports or games did you used to play when you were little? Okay, this is your opportunity to speak English. When I was, uh, when I was a little, I used to play Jackstones with my uh, with my neighbors, and we used to play Ule. How do you say Ule? Hmm. Let me look for it. <laughs> uh huh. Cool. It's a rubber. Rubber. You used to play with rubbers. Uh -huh. Thank you. Only that? That was your favorite game, Margarita. My favorite game was Jackson's. The Jacks. I... Okay. Thank you. Is somebody else? When I was a child, I used to play at soccer and I like swim. Uh, I like to, I used to, I, I, used, I used to have a bicycle and a drive motorcycle. Okay, Haido, thank you. 
Mm -hmm. What other games or sports do you use to play? When I was a child, I used to play with my mom. It, sometimes just dance all the time in the afternoon and to take a, to drink a coffee, to drink, to drink a coffee and to play. And sometimes it, she liked to, to play to me um, dolls, dolls, muñecas. With toys and dolls. Oh, and dogs. Okay. Sometimes I play with me. And when when I have a daughter, when I have a daughter, I like to play jack stones. Different jack a little, a, a big, big jack stones. And I have one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. Okay, Saul says, when I was little, I played the basketball all days. <laughs> okay, any other participation? Well, in my case, um, there was there was there wasn't any pool around the neighborhood, <laughs> but there was a river that we used to like. To, we used to to go to swim every day with my friends uh, before school. And we loved uh, to skate a lot. We had a, a skateboard and we really loved to, to skate. To do that. Oh, nice, skateboarding. <laughs> I, I, always, I was always afraid of skateboarding. <laughs> it's very dangerous, yeah. but it's funny. Like, practice. I imagine you feel adrenaline, but... I was afraid yeah. of falling down. <laughs> okay. Many, many. <laughs> and got hurt. Oh, Adriana says that she used to dance ballet. Oh, Nubia, she used to play basketball and bicycle. Okay. I have another question. Did you play tag? Did you play tag? Sometimes in my childhood, I played tag. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was exciting. Did you used to have a nickname when you were little? Repeat, please. I can Did, hear you. It's the second question. Did you used to have a nickname? Because when you were in the school, my nickname is Negra. Your nickname was Negra. <laughs> okay, Jenny, thank you for sharing. In my case, uh, my mom say me because my second name is Noemi. And she say uh, Mimi. Oh, your mom calls you Mimi. Mimi. Okay. My brother came to pronounce my name because this is a root. Uh, like a uh, R que uh, he don't pronounce. Okay. Because I'm on say me, me, me. <laughs> he couldn't pronounce root, the R. Okay. Mm -hmm. More, more opinions? My, in my case, my brother didn't have my, my name. Didn't have pronounced my name. Uh, my brother say me candy. Candy. Candy in my name is Karen, Hi. but my brother say me candy for the the cartoon. The cartoon. Okay. The and it's Aura. Isaura says that her nickname was Chavita or Isa. When I was little, my brother, well, yeah, my brother used to call me Seca because I was very skinny, very skinny. So she called me Seca. <laughs> and when I was in school, a teacher called me Flaca. <laughs> 
So you have an idea. It was very skinny, very thin. Okay, number three. What is your favorite childhood memory? What's your favorite childhood memory? When you think of your childhood and that comes to your brain and it makes you feel happy. What's your favorite childhood memory? In my case, I remember that we went to, we used to visit my grandparents and with um, all my aunts, uncles, and cousins, we used to meet at my grandparents' house and then we used to go to a river and we played in the river. So that is my childhood memory. Margarita? In my case, my favorite memory is when my father used to take us to the beach every Sunday. And we and and we went with my brother, my cousins, uh, some neighbors, and we we um how do you say um uh let me see todos íbamos we on, we, on the we all we all went okay. we in all, the big or we went together in in my dad's big truck oh and it's nice. it, it was very fun okay going to the beach every weekend nice every sunday every <laughs> sunday <laughs> okay in, somebody else in my case my favorite childhood memory is when i shop with my father uh, i like uh, my melos and chocolate and i in this moment, I don't have a brother, and only for me. <laughs> oh, but this is for because the memory. You were the only girl. The only yes, child. yes, because when I have a brother, my my father don't go to me to shop. <laughs> oh, okay. Things changed. Okay, yeah. another childhood memory. Yes, teacher. In my case, um, I'll, I'm gonna answer answer the second question. The second question, okay? Uh, yes. Um, the second and the third. <laughs> so I, I had a, a big friend, and he was a little bit uh, a little chubby. <laughs> he was very funny, and he he was very fan of a movie called Pirates of Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean, and there's a character in there. David Jones, he used to call me in that way, David Jones. <laughs> so um, um, my favorite childhood memory was uh, about him because we uh, he used to walk for an hour to school from our neighborhood, and we always uh, we were always uh, speaking about things as as a kid. Uh, for example, the future. And what we were going to do in the future? Are we going to get married? Um, <laughs> where, <laughs> where is possible possibly to, to live in the future? San Salvador or another city? It was it was very funny, and I really like to uh, to memorize that. Yeah, I can see your faces when you remember your childhood. You smile, and that is good. <laughs> Okay, do we have any other comment? Thank you, David. Somebody else? Well, Ren eh, oh, Esau says, the best thing when I was a little boy is when I went to the almond tree. Okay. El palo de almendra. <laughs> and Renato says, yes, my nickname is Pancho, but it's not my real name. It's only used in my family. <laughs> okay, Pancho. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Good. So now, guys, I would like you to uh, have your presentation about the childhood memories, but in a more uh, organized way. Okay. So who is ready to present? Mm -hmm. Who is ready? Me, teacher. Hi, Silvia. Okay. Are you going to use, a, a, do you want to share a PowerPoint presentation or something, pictures or something like that? No, teacher. Uh, only the, only the, the, the talk. The talk. See, sí, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. We are all ears. Yes. Well, when I was a child, I love it. I love it. Uh, I love it. Cat. I love it. Cats. I had many cats in my childhood. Well, I remember. I look. I look like a boy because my father buy me only boy clothes. Uh, because he dream, he dream it about. Uh, have a son, but I am happy. I used to I I used to love when uh, when out and playing with my friends. I didn't like play with Barbies though. I used to have two two uh, cars, oh, uh, and kid toys. Kill toads. Uh -huh. I really enjoyed my childhood. Only that. <laughs> Very good, Ana Silvia. Thank you. A plus. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, who is the next? Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, Karen, and then Margarita. Okay. In my case, my favorite memory was when I visited visit my grandparents in Usulután and we got we, and we got on a boat and the rested in the Bahia de Jiquilisco and they Rescued, rescatar, me rescataron. Rescued, rescued. Uh, rescued. Us as it was getting dark. Ya bastante tarde. Mm -hmm. Rescued, bastante tarde. Um, I, I was memory. I, I, no, I had. Yo tuve. I had. Mm -hmm. I had a. One dog. Mm -hmm. uh, his, his name, no, his name was Valentina, but but she was born in Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, but. Um, oh, yeah, me trouble. <laughs> That's all. Continue. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Karen. Applause for Karen for her participation. Okay. Margarita and then Adriana Gonzalez. Okay. Um, I have to say I was born in October 14th, 1969. The same year when the man first stepped onto the moon, I grew up on Mexicanos with three brothers and one sister. I'm the Jogans one. Everyone in my family worked very hard. But as I said before, my father used to take us to the beach every Sunday. Uh, my father loved the ocean 
and so do I. And yeah, he took us with all my family and some neighbors in his big truck. My mother always prepared a lot of food for everyone. And we had a great time. We had a lot of fun. And I was asleep for the old ways, the, the old way back over home. Mm -hmm. But I wake up, just arrived uh, to the pop ice cream in the Boulevard de los Heros mm -hmm. because my father invited to all for a vanilla ice cream, just one, uh, the single, uh, the little. <laughs> And this is one of the most beautiful memories of my childhood. Oh, yes. Thank you, Margarita. Good job. <laughs> okay. Adriana Gonzalez, you are next. Okay. Uh, good night, everybody. And when I was a child, I used to have a little dog. Name was Scrappy. And we had uh, many adventures and features with him. I remember that with my Scrappy, we used to take shop and a snap after I got home from study. And we ate a lot of snack together. I remember that I used to listen to music from NTV a lot or mm -hmm. all day. And on the other hand, I used to play with my neighborhood in the strip. And I remember that with my neighborhood, we used to play soccer and bet for the soda. <laughs> and speaking for myself, and those were very beautiful years for me because I had a neighborhood who we studied secret with her and we used to spend a lot a lot of time together and unfortunately and he lives or oh, as for right now he he lives in united states and we can only talk video call and her name is gabby only that Okay, Adriana, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I remember that in my in my childhood, MTV was very famous, like very popular. And um, Adriana, you were saying neighborhood is the place, neighbors are the people. Okay. Ah, okay. Neighbor. Neighbors. Neighbor or neighbors, the people, the person, right? In neighborhood, the place. Mm -hmm. Ruth, you. you're welcome. Ruth Beltran. Okay. I was born in San Salvador, 7, November 7, in 1973. I live in San Salvador, and I remember when I stayed. Uh, my mo my grandmother stay in San Miguel. Uh, she liked to write me letters all the time, all the time, and to sell me. And I answered, and I couldn't. Uh, but my grandmother to return to Soyapango and live there. When I visited, uh, visit her, she liked to cook pancake pancake but I put a bananas and chocolate <laughs> and I had to visit because uh, all the time when I visited her uh, she she prepared me um, pancake that's all <laughs> sounds delicious <laughs> okay thank you Ruth applause for Ruth okay who is next me teacher, I want. Okay, David. Ah, okay. 
about my childhood, I got a lot of good memories, but I want to speak about one. Um, I have a I have a younger sister, and we used to play a lot. I, as you know, when you are a kid, you play a lot. You have enough. <laughs> so we were uh, we were always uh, playing with toys. Uh, it doesn't even matter if with dolls or cars. And sometimes we were very weird because we were <laughs> we allowed to performance some dialogue dialogues of the movies that we liked the most. <laughs> it was a little bit weird because uh, we were a, a speaking like the actors and actresses. <laughs> It was very funny, and I remember the the most um, uh, the the movie that she liked the most was The Little Mermaid, and she was always David. Can we play? Can we play now? We want to perform as The Little Mermaid. <laughs> she was six years old, and she she used to uh, speak very well. She was very intelligent, so she was saying uh, saying to me. They became we play today. I want to perform as the little mermaid. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to be the Prince Eric and you're going to be Ariel, okay? <laughs> and we started. Blah 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 blah. The dialogue and the conversation that they had in the in the scenes. Oh, uh, it, it was very, very funny. And okay, this year in is the in the live action of the little member in the theaters, and I said to her, "Hey, remember, remember when we were children? We were always performing your favorite movie." <laughs> and she was laughing a lot, and she said, "Oh, David, thank you very much for a great childhood. And do you want to go to the theater to watch this this new movie with me?" And I say, "Oh, okay, thank you. It was." Our favorite movie, I, I guess. <laughs> That's all, teacher. <laughs> okay, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> Good. Okay, who is next? Who is going to continue? We still have a lot of people pending. Make it Okay, Jenny, go ahead. When I was a child, I, I played soccer with my nephew and my friends in the street. And after it, it we we were we were eat a soda and snacks and talk about the scary stories, scary stories, horror stories. Okay, I remember when I was a child, I used to eat uh, the jocote leaves with my neighbors, lemon, chili, mm, eh, <laughs> Yeah, we used to eat that. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Jairo, we listen to you. When I was a child, uh, we, have, we have a pet all the time. Uh, for example, dogs and cats. Uh, sometimes I I like went to the, I like I used to went to the go go perdón go go to the river with my neighbor with my with my friend sorry with my friend and we we like we like to swim on the on the on the on the in la posa in la posa on the river only that. Yes, rivers were awesome. <laughs> yes, and now many rivers have disappeared. That's very sad. Okay, 
Thank you, Jairo and Jenny. And let's see, we still have more people. Mayra, would you like to continue? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. When I shy, when was a child, uh, my cousin and I, uh, we, we live together. Together and someday, my cousin and I got sick with chicken pox. My dad, my dad took us to the beach so we could get better. Um, and yes, uh, we love them. Um, uh, we live together and we love watching the same movie, Space Jam. That's all, teacher. Okay, Mayra. <laughs> you know what? The chicken pox, uh, all the children got chicken pox when they are children. Yes. But you know what? I am 30 years old and I have never gotten, I have never gotten chicken pox. I hope I don't get it in my life because <laughs> people say that when you are an adult and you got chicken pox, that's terrible. <laughs> Okay, Renato. Oh, Ruth, you want to mention something? No. No. no this, you you no. were. Oh, the okay. cap. <laughs> Renato Ramirez. Renato. Uh, yes, want... yes, yes. When I was a child, I liked to play soccer with my cousin and also played with my pet. My dog was called Toffee. He was brown, small, and furry. Uh, we had uh, him at home since he was a little dog. As uh, he got older, he became hungry and bored. Um, another memory. I really like spending a time because I lived at my grandparents' house. Oh. Those big old house uh, that has garden full of plants and trees in the middle of the house. Only that. Okay, Renato, thank you for sharing your memories with your grandparents' house. Okay, we still have more participations. Uh -huh. Karen, please, Karen. Teacher, thank you. Um, I didn't know to the, I didn't have class yesterday because I seen but I will improvise, teacher. That's okay. <laughs> okay. When I was a child, I used to have two friends. Mm -hmm. I remember their names. Her names is Katia and Irma. Uh, as a, a kid, I used to play with my friends and my brothers. And I used to play a uh, bicycle. I played in my neighborhoods. My favorite memory is my old house. I remember my family and my brothers when we were younger. Only the chair, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Karen. <laughs> thank you, it was a good improvisation. <laughs> okay. Sorry, <teacher. laughs> More another person. Is Aura? Did you open your microphone? 
Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. Are you, are you going to share? Um, sorry. Okay. Uh, when I was a child, I I was happy because I visit my grandparents and I play with my cousin and I I was very happy when I when I was child. Okay. And I miss it. And I miss when I was shy. <laughs> okay, is that it? That's all. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Leslie Victoria. Hi. Um, when I was a child, I really liked to look for insects with my my grandfather's my, my grandfather. Sorry, we had spent hours and hours in the search. Uh, then we drank coffee, and I ate ate my favorite uh, sweet bread. Bread. <laughs> sorry, what is the pronouns? Pan bread. Then. I slept the rest of the afternoon until my parents came, came for me. <laughs> Only that. Thank you, Leslie. Um, I am having problems with my camera. Uh, okay, that's why it's, oh, it's off. I cannot turn it on. <laughs> Okay, so I will be sorry for that, guys. But is there someone, somebody else? Is there someone else who wants to share? If would not somebody want just one more? Me teacher. Okay, Luisa. <clears throat> I had a very nice childhood with my brothers. I remember a lot how we used to have fun with different games in the afternoon with all our friends. I remember a lot when we went as a family to eat pupusas or trips to beach. Wherever we went, we were happy. The most beautiful thing about my childhood is that we didn't need much to be happy, just to feel the love and protection of my parents. Only that. Oh, thank you, Luisa. Yes. Uh, when you don't live with your parents anymore, then you miss living with your family, right? <laughs> because these days that I've been sick, I miss my mom when she took care of me when I was sick. She was very tender. <laughs> okay, um, do we have another person? If not, guys, I'm going to uh, share with you some questions, and you can tell you can tell me your opinion. The first question is, how big were families 50 years ago? How big were families 50 years ago? Mm -hmm. I will share the screen, but I'm not sure if you can see the, the questions. Okay, uh, this is how times have changed. 
Let's talk about how family life has changed in the last 50 years in our country. How big were families 50 years ago? Let me tell you that in my family, um, I have two aunts who have seven children each. One uncle had 12 children. 10 girls and two boys. So I have many cousins. I have a lot of cousins. The families were big, really big in the past. What can you tell me about it? I remember uh, when I was a kid, my grandmother was always telling me stories about the past um, as they are. <laughs> and I remember the most that she used to say that uh, there were eight girls and five boys in, his, in her family. It was a big, big family. I remember, um, yes, 50 years ago, they were a big family. And now, why do you think uh, it's different? Why do you think people have less children or fewer children? Uh, the, um, the main problem is because of the economy. Because uh, it's a little bit difficult to find a job if you don't learn a professional, it's a little bit difficult to, and, and so on. It's my opinion. Oh, thank you, David, for your opinion. Okay, and the others, what do you think? Or maybe you can change, you can answer the next question. What kind of homes did people live in 50 years ago? What kinds of homes did people live in then? I think, teacher, in the past, the family, only the, the father worked and the mother stayed at home, for example. It's true. It's true, Karen. And about the, the houses? How were the houses? Small houses. Uh, okay, well, my, my grandparents had a big house, <laughs> and big now house. we live in the small houses. <laughs> but the houses were not made of, of bricks, right? My grandparents had a house made of, of earth, right? Of ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Made of, the houses were made of wood, right? Margarita says, in my family, in my aunt's family, there, was, there were seven children. The moms were in the house every day. The houses were big with a big backyard. Yeah, my grandmother used to have a a beautiful garden with a lot of flowers. Okay. Um, what kind of jobs did men used to have? What kinds of jobs did men used to have? Mostly agriculture. Exactly. They were farmers, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Jenny? And the agriculture and the factories. Uh, yeah, the factories in construction. Okay. Or milking the cows. Okay. Uh, how were the schools different?
how are schools different? Now in the school, uh, use uh, more technologies. Mm -hmm. Yes, when I was in the school, I remember that we I didn't have computer class until I was in high school. So I didn't have computer class until I was in high school. Can you imagine? Yeah. That was some years. When I was a study, I, I didn't use the computer. <laughs> <laughs> you use the typing machine. The typing <laughs> machine. My teacher to, to copiar the hands because I can't to, to write. Really? Your teacher hit you? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I do have a cell phone. Cell phone. Uh, um, you have a cell phone, you have a money. And you don't have a cell phone, you don't care to, to buy the, the cell phone because you don't have a money. Yes, I... My when did you get your first cell phone? I got my first cell phone when I was 15, 15 years old. And you, how old were you when you got your first cell phone? When I have 30 years old. <laughs> when you were 30? Yes. 30 years old. <laughs> Blanca also. You, the teacher hit her when, with the ruler. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your opinions. Thank you for practicing your English in this class, talking about the past. Uh, um, for me, it's important to listen to the students to see their progress in their speaking skills. Now, guys, I'm going to take the attendance and please say present or hear when I mention your name. Okay, so Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Adriana Gonzalez. Present. Ana Silvia Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Anca Guadalupe Benavides. Here, teacher. Anca Margarita Guevara. Brian Hyverson Escobar, David Alonso Mejia, present, Esaú Ismael Tobar, present, eh, Belín Janet Marroquín, present teacher, Francisco Alexander, oh, Paco didn't connect today, Glendy Elizabeth Flores, here, Thank you, G Giselle Marie Hernandez. She was connected some minutes ago. It is Janelle Martinez. Is Saura Evelia Vasquez? Present teacher. Naman Moss Ortiz. Present. Josue Miguel Portillo. Present. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Karen Ibel Villanueva. Chair. Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Leslie Victoria Moran. Present teacher. Thank you, Leslie. Luisa Ariana Guerra. Present. Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present teacher. Erlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Ninrob Saúl Guzmán. Present. Nubia Cristina Morales Benavides. Present. Thank you, Nubia. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present, teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present. Eh, Ruth Noemi Beltrán. Present, teacher. Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, before you go, guys, tell me, what did you learn in the class today? Uh, 
At the beginning of the class, we studied vocabulary about childhood games, children's games. Do you remember the children's games? Marbles, basketballs. Yes, marbles. I can sit. I can uh, baseball. Um, I think Okay, thank you, Ruth. <laughs> Do you remember Mika in English? Uh, duck. duck. Okay. Another person. Do you remember Gallina Ciega in English? Blind hen. <laughs> Blinds man buff. Blinds man buff. Uh, Chivoles marbles. Marbles. Karen, marbles. And. Do you remember Salta Cuerdas? How do Jumping. you see? Jumpy rope. Yes. And let me see what other that was new for you, maybe. And oh, the one in which um, um, you, you pass a message. You have to pass a message. In the Chinese, e. Chinese. 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 <laughs> Chinese whispers. Whispers. Uh huh. <laughs> Chinese whispers. Yes, that is the name of this game. Okay, and somebody's asking about the trompo. Trompo is a spinning top. Play with the spinning top. Okay. I hope that it was a good class for you guys. And remember that you need to finish the section five and the final exam this week. Please do it uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. You have the whole day to complete it. And well, guys, that was all for today. And see you on Thursday, okay? Okay, teacher. See you on Thursday. Okay, bye. bye. See you Thursday, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.